that is true is because Jitsu here, we're going to go over three different ways to escape the saddle position. Uh, some people refer to it as a inside Senkaku or 411 or even honey hole. I just call it saddle, simple English word to remember. Um, it's a leg entanglement position that's become very popular because it really isolates the leg that you're attacking, especially for heel hooks, inside heel hooks particularly. But there's clover leaf attacks from there, straight angles, uh, you can cross into really nasty leg entanglement. So because of its popularity, it's, it's popping up in a whole bunch of tournament scenes. Even in the gym, you'll find a lot of people playing saddle. So it's nice to have some options to at least know how to defend and even better know how to escape it. So we'll show you three different variations of saddle, of the way that the person is going to be using it on you, which will kind of dictate what your option is to escape. So to begin with, the saddle position is where you're going to have the top side leg, one closest to my head, or my opponent, draped over top of my thigh, other one underneath the same leg, and there's a, a triangle being hooked up underneath with his legs, which clamps my thigh. So there are a few different variations we're going to go over. The first one is going to be where it's a little bit loose, like I've got some movement here, he's not really clamping down super heavy on this, and people will, will play this so that they can pivot towards this foot and start attacking for these heel hook options down there. It's a little easier to stay mobile if it's not as tight to move your body around this leg. So in that situation, first thing I want to do before he starts uh, latching onto these feet, I, I knew I got into saddle as it was coming on, is I want to cross my feet just so that I have my uh, bit of time to work. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take both my hands, fall down to my side, frame off of his hip right here, open up and try to steer this knee to the ground right there. Again, that's only going to work if it's loose. But once we're here, you can frame away and totally disengage. Come up, try to pass the guard. So one more time with that one. I want to cover, turn, spear down, then come up. The second version is going to be much tighter, where he's really clamping this thigh from this position. People like playing this one, especially when they're going for these clover leaves, where they're crossing their legs here, starting to attack knee bars. Sometimes they'll cross it all the way over here and get all sorts of nasty entanglements for heel hooks. So, first thing that I want to do once I'm being thrown into saddle, and I know it's tight, he's really clamping down on this, is I need to hand fight because he's going to be going for this leg or this leg. I need to be fighting here so I can get to this position. Right here, or even here is a good position where you're really hugging onto that leg. It makes it hard to get to this leg, and it makes it nearly impossible to get to this before he's, uh, without stripping my grips. He has to deal with hand fighting on his own before he can get this leg back. So in the meantime, while I'm defending right here, I'm going to rock back and windshield wiper this leg in, extending to break the triangle, and I'm going to feed that other leg under to come up for the escape. So one more time, a little bit faster. I need a hand fight to get this one clear. I get to here, rock back, windshield wiper, escape, come up. Now this last one is one that I've only come across recently, and it's a phenomenally tight version of saddle. It's kind of like a lotus variation where uh, the opponent is going to tuck this in, dump you this way, and then sit back so that his legs are lotus in between this saddle here. It's not just a triangle. And it's so tight, I can drag him around like a ball and chain, and he's not going anywhere in this. Very, very, very tight on my leg. So that takes away, obviously, loosening that knee and spirit to the ground. I can't windshield wiper this leg anymore because it's not there for me. So my escape this time is just like before, I gotta make sure that I'm checking this leg. It's gonna be the first option he's gonna have to attack. I'm gonna be making sure that he can't get to it and that I get to it first. This time, I'm gonna bring it right over top of this knee of his and triangle it up here. So now he's got very little option for attacking my leg. I'm going to take this posting arm out and then push him this way, bringing my knee to the ground, getting heavy. I'm going to get head and arm control right here and just sprawl my leg out, which will break it and pull up into mount. So last time on that Lotus variation, he sits me down into this. I know I'm stuck. I need to cover up, get this here triangle up. And now I need to take this post out so I can rock him back and get my knee to the ground. I'm going to circle under for head and arm control, sprawl up, heavy chest pressure, and pull up with the full so there you have three good options for how to get a saddle, depending on how they're putting it on you. So there is a whole plethora of ideas and options to do from there that you're always going to have to be playing defense first. Never, never assume that you can just try escaping without playing defense first. Make sure that your feet are safe, your legs are safe, and then try your escape. But I've had good luck with this one. I've had a lot of success. My students have success with this one, uh, with different variations off these ones. So play around with it. Keep your legs
like, safe, uh, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.